Yeah, we're not leaving. We we planted our roots here. We'll get through this. There's so many people that are worse off than us. These houses fell into the bay. We saved whatever we could, but you can never do enough for this. Never. It's food, water, supplies at the Harding Avenue School. I don't know, we did what we could. This way to do enough. Okay. Yeah. He moved here when she was two. Right? You were two, and he was one. Like six months. Six months. Now we have a two-year-old. I don't know where she is. She's somewhere. With my wife. My wife can't even come here. But we'll be all right. The wind blew the back doors open. And then after the wind blew the back door open, the water came in and it was sort of like a, it was white caps, you know, in the street and it was sort of like a little tidal wave. It came in and it went out. <laughs> it did its damage and it left. And that was it. The, the, I think the hardest thing is I have a two year old and I can't explain to her. And she's mad at me and her mother. You know, she's just, uh, she's mad at us because she can't come home. She can't see her house. We've never seen nothing like this. Not in my lifetime anyway. And I was born in 1950. I've never seen nothing like this. Even the hurricanes in the 60s. Nothing. That's title sense anyway. Even the winds were extreme over here. But could take a little wind, a few shingles here and there, but nothing like the water coming through. Water did the most damage. It was shocking because the, the windows were so full of salt water, you couldn't really see what was going on outside, you know. And then once we came out and saw the devastation, it was uh, beyond belief, you know. And then both of these houses on either side of me, they're, they're like ready to fall down. That's the problem. They're, they're probably going to uh, condemn both these houses. Had I known it was going to be so bad, I would have definitely took everybody's advice and got out of here. Oh, thank you. The outreach in, in, from the neighborhood and the fire department has been incredible. It really has touched a lot of hearts down here. This, uh, everybody's pitching in and this just brings tears to your eyes how nice people have been. It's really, I can't say enough to thank everybody. It's like a big cow here. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, really. Thank you, everybody, for helping. Thank you. I, I, my, my parents live on Pacific Street right here, and uh, their house was demolished. They have two levels. They're probably more the lucky ones here. Everybody else, they just lost everything. You go down the block, all the kids' stuff, their furniture, everything's in the garbage. It's just sad. I, like I said, I grew up here. This is the park I grew up in. I just wanted to help my community, my friends, my family, everybody. We're all alive. That's all I can be grateful for right now. And we're just so appreciative of everybody who's helped us and come down this way. We made friends with people from other towns. They've been coming by every day trying to give us coffee or anything like we needed. That's pretty much it. We'll, you know, we'll all get through this. And there's so many people that are worse off than us. These houses fell into the bay. So we're just grateful we're all alive and my kids are healthy and that's it.